Hello everyone, happy Monday the 28th of October, Orwin Jennings here, coming in with the energies of the week from today the 28th of October until um, Sunday the 3rd of November, I had to check what the date would be then, um, gosh, last week of October, um, yeah it's it's uh, so uh, as i understand it it's going to be an interesting and powerful week energetically and we should really use those energies to create something really beautiful with the new moon energy that's coming in this week as well as you know new moons are often about setting intentions aren't they and it's a great week to do that not just setting them but actually doing something about them um so we've, we're in now this sort of energy of Scorpio um, and the sun is in Scorpio and we're going to have the new moon in Scorpio as well this week. So Scorpio is all about hidden depths. Um, it's very intuitive, it's very psychic actually. It, it goes within, asks you to really, really, you know, look at yourself trust your instincts trust your intuition um and you know we, we were coming up to halloween or Samhain, um on the 31st of october as well you know and this week you can really feel well i i can really feel it and i'm sure you can too like the the veils between the worlds are just much thinner um in fact that's happening anyway as we're ascending but this week as it is every week when we have um, Halloween or All Hallows Eve, um, is it has that energy of um, clearing, of um, connecting with your ancestors maybe, honouring them, but also honouring your own journey this far, you know, how congratulating yourself on how far you, you've come. Um, congratulating yourself on the fact you got through this year which has been really intense um, but just generally there's this beautiful mystical um, connection energy and it's about really connecting to your truth like the truth of who you are it doesn't matter that there's bits about you or parts of you that you don't like you know it's time just to go I don't that's fine that is just who I am and I know certainly I've had a journey this year of of realizing that there's parts of me that I've um that I don't like well I already knew that but I've really brought that to the surface and but you know there's nothing wrong with it's about not making it right or wrong that's what somebody said to me this week don't make it wrong that you feel that way or you think that way it's just who you are right so Obviously, if something is uh, holding you back, then that's slightly different. If there's a way of thinking that's holding your back, you back and you can change that, then it, you know it's a good time to be doing something about that. But generally, you are who you are, right? And, oh, I've got an incoming rant about social media now. You know, on social media, we we put on a face of who we are, um, and we. I'm not saying we need to pour up, pour out all our hearts and every bit of information about our lives on social media, not at all. But it's like, you know, we only show our best side, don't we? Usually, uh, or what we think is our best side. But, and that that can be the same in life generally. Um, and again, it's not all about, you know, telling everybody everything about you. Um, but it's about being honest and you need to be honest with yourself first. Um, and that's, that's, you know, that is accepting all of you. Very much so. So this week we are looking at self-discovery, trusting yourself and your intuition much more. As I've said, we've got Halloween, we've got the incoming new moon that beautiful Scorpio energy, um, looking at where you are too much in your own mind, where you're overthinking things, 
and maybe in that in that space you're not getting the answers and the clarity you want so you know can you hand that over to the universe or can you just go more into your heart and your intuition for the answers um it's also this week also feels like you know who do you spend your time with are are there people in your circle that you're not getting as much joy from from those connections um and maybe you just need to pull back your energy slightly so it's about deep honesty this week that's what i believe anyway um and trusting always trusting your intuition and it can be you know it's this is not logical intuition is not logical but it surely knows what we're meant to be doing and, and knows the right thing for us so let's bring in my guides now and see what else they have to say about it but the energy just feels very magical um has that alchemist feel that alchemy feel that you know let's change things a bit like the seasons the season now you know the leaves are well and truly dropping off the trees you know to allow for the new aren't they so that's the same for for us okay let's see what else comes in hello everyone it's lovely to be here as always so yes so this is a very we would call it a sacred week a week where you need we would suggest you need to honor yourselves congratulate yourself how many times do you not congratulate yourself um we can see that many of you are very hard on yourselves but actually you are doing a brilliant job being just you exactly where you are right now so take some time this week and not don't just be grateful for everyone else around you although of course you can do that but be grateful for you and be grateful for everything you bring yeah um to the table so to speak you will be a very important piece of somebody else's puzzle in fact probably you are a very important piece of many people's puzzles right just just if that brings you some comfort think of it that way in fact we all are or you all are aren't you you are all pieces of each other's puzzles um yes so this week you know this year has really shaken you up we know and it's about really feeling into what feels right for you not what you think logically makes sense but what feels right for you now this can feel very uncomfortable because it doesn't make sense <laughs> sometimes um it makes sense to your heart and your soul but then when you look at it from your thinking mind from your logic and you can talk yourself out of it because i can't possibly do that because what will people think what will people say also you know we well we just don't do that and these can be big decisions like leaving jobs leaving relationships leaving situations leaving friendships um and it can also be smaller things as well of course but this you know <sighs> it has sort of all been leading to this and it will do every year because every year we you have the same seasons there on your planet and if you really tune into those seasons you will see the pattern you know every year you will have a, a new moon in scorpio for example every year you will have halloween and it's all about you know what are you embracing you know about yourself what have you learned it may well be at the start of this year um you had other intentions other ideas but things have changed in fact we know a lot has changed for a lot of you because you are becoming more trusting you are feeling into what feels right for you and so this means plans can change even day-to-day -day plans where you may have made an arrangement and then suddenly it doesn't feel right what do you do in that situation you should really be honoring how you feel and it may well be for good reason that you now feel that that 
arrangement, that meeting or whatever it is, isn't right. Now we know we're talking generally and of course if you're working, if you're in a you're employed you know it may well be you can't just suddenly turn around to your boss and say I can't have that meeting it doesn't feel right anymore but you know what we mean right we mean generally um, especially in your personal life where this week we'll ask you to where to look at where you're hanging out where uh, you're spending your most most of your time which groups are you in you know groups of friendships, um, all different things. Where are you feeling nourished? Where are you not feeling nourished? It's time to really take what you want rather than giving it, giving away your energy. Okay. Um, Halloween's coming up, of course, which is always a magical time, but it's still, it's the witch's new year. It's definitely when the veil is becoming is thinner between the worlds. You may really feel your ancestors. Um, maybe they're trying to communicate with you, give you some ideas, give some clues as to where you ought to be heading or where they feel you ought to be heading. You know, or maybe they're just coming in to comfort you in some way. So just pay attention to that honoring your ancestors as well and everything that they have given you you know often in uh, work with ancestral patterns we you know you look at the negative but really honor everything the positive as well also honoring your shadow self is very important in Scorpio season so not just this week but you know all of this month really you know embracing your shadow and often where your shadow is, is where your strength is. <laughs> Remember that. So, lots going on really. And then the new moon at the end of the week, really inviting you to feel into your emotions, to break habits that are no longer serving you, to finally, finally let go of those things that aren't, aren't uh, bringing you joy. Or you may feel... You may notice that you thought you'd given something up, like a way of thinking or a way of being, but it's creeping back in and you're thinking, well, hang on a minute. I really thought I'd let go of that, but it's still there. So just noticing that as well. Really, we invite you this week to spend um, deep connection with yourself. You know, meditate if you can or get out in nature, whatever works for you. Really connect in with yourself and your soul. Try and step out of your mind as much as possible. And really feel what it feels like to be you. In flow. In flow with your intuition. In flow with what your soul wants you to do. And just do that day by day. Right? Um, so... It's a very good week for um, honouring yourself, for letting go of things, for changing things, for bringing in, uh, setting your intentions, but also setting out, you know, what you're going to do to reach those goals, those intentions. It's all very well writing down what you want, but what aligned action can you take? All right, so don't be afraid of the darkness because that's often where you will find the light, all right? So we wish you an amazing week. So we, I hope that helped you. Um, it's also about boundaries, I feel, as well. Always that comes up, doesn't it? So um, later on today, I'll, for those of you that chose um, a card from my new deck, I will be putting up the uh, reveal for that a bit later today. Um, my deck is going to be arriving next week. And uh, watch out for announcements about um, uh, a launch party that I'm going to be holding online as well next week. And details of how you can purchase. All right, so do take care of yourselves. and. Um, I'll be back next week. Bye for now.